Hey everyone, it's Nicole here today with the first day of my Handmade Holiday 2018 series. This is a series dedicated to generally quick and easy projects that you can create for gift giving. So bags, tags, um, boxes, those kind of things that add that personalized homemade touch to your gift giving. This is my fifth year doing this series. If you are interested in seeing any of the past year's projects, I will have a link to those underneath in the description here on my video. Today we are starting off the series with these quick and easy folded critter sweaters shaped tags. All of my tags today were created with a single stamp and die set from Simon Says Stamp. This is from one of the most recent releases, and they are inspired by some Lawn Fawn gift tag or gift card holder shaped cards that can be tags that I created recently. Um, I will be linking those to the at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing those. The thing about these is they are much quicker and easier than the Lawn Fawn ones. And if you're anything like me, um, you might be running out of time to kind of have some of those things ready and you're looking for something that might be a little bit more quick and easy. These tags are folded, meaning they are going to open and you can put a message inside, which still leaves the front empty and clean and simple, can be used as an ornament, can be used after the gift giving is done. I'm a big fan of creating my own tags. I'm also a big fan of creating something that serves more than one purpose. So what I'm going to do here today is I've got a piece of two and three quarters by eight and a half inches smooth white cardstock that I have scored in half at four and a quarter inches. And then I am taking the shaped die. We're gonna use the polar bear and the cat from the Critter Sweaters die collection. And we want to hang the ears and the top of the head off of the top scene of the card. And I kind of played around with it quite a bit because you want to keep it so that there's just a little section on both sides that die cuts all the way through that you're gonna actually thread your ribbon or twine through. The cat is a little bit different. It does not work as well. And you could do this for the bear if you wanted to two that would be fine but I just wrapped it around one ear to create the little ornament hanger so you'll see that here in a little bit the bear is what I started with and then I went ahead and created more um, you can create these in any color combination that you like you're going to see a lot of red white and black or red white and gray um, throughout my projects and that is because that's the color scheme that I'm wrapping my presents in this year um, when I am creating things like this, not only do I want to create projects that I hope inspire you, but I actually want to create something that is useful. For me, a big part of creation is creating something that can actually be used. Um, and because this is my color scheme, that's what I went with. But you could just as easily do multicolored sweaters you could do a completely different color scheme. Maybe you're doing pink and aqua, pink and red, aqua and red, um, purples and blues, whatever it might be, greens and blacks. I think that would be phenomenal. So, so pretty. I am simplifying this by using my Misty and my Mini Misty. I have set up my stamps in both of these so that I can stamp multiples, so that I can do a bunch of these all at once and have them on hand starting with the inside greetings on the actual tag part, the shaped tag that we created. I am stamping Merry Christmas from the Critter Sweater stamp set with Lawn Fawn Lobster Red ink. Underneath that, I'm stamping From All of Us in black ink. This From All of Us is from the Simon Says Stamp Tiny Words Christmas stamp set. So while almost everything from these comes from a single stamp set, I did include these little sentiments on both types of both shapes of tags, but you could definitely forego that if you wanted to. Next, I laid out most of my borders in my Misty and stamped them with lobster red ink along the bottom of each critter. 
This is also saving a massive amount of time. Now, because they don't go to, they aren't as close to each other as you might want them to be, or I wanted my sweaters to be even more full, I am taking the little dotted border and I'm filling in and I'm using an acrylic block and my red ink to do this. It's super quick and easy. Um, and that way it gives the illusion of a much fuller designed sweater, especially since everything on this is white cardstock. Um, in addition to the shaped tag part, I've got another die cut of the critter that I have uh, die cut and that's going to be placed on the front of the tag. I also have my face in the Misty. I stamped that. I have the little cheeks image on an acrylic block that is stamped with Simon Says Stamp Cotton Candy Pink Ink so it has little pink cheeks. I'm threading through some red and white baker's twine through the top and knotting it. Super, super easy. I want most of the projects I share in this handmade holiday series to be something that can be completed you know, in an hour or two, something pretty quick. Um, there will be one project for sure this year that is a little more time consuming depending on how many you make. Um, but it's something I totally love and I hope it inspires you. So, but for the most part, they're going to be super fast and easy. We are adhering the front panel to our shaped tag to make that little cute shaped tag. Honestly, at this point, you guys, these could be completely done. I did take a black glaze pen and go over the nose and the eyes to make them a little bit glossier, make them a little more prominent. And then I am taking Nouveau Crystal Drops. Now, one of my tags, I will say, I started with green and I thought I would like the green, but I don't think the green shows up very well. So I switched over to black. I'm using Ebony Black and White Blizzard. White Blizzard, that's kind of misleading. It's actually a translucent glitter. We're putting the translucent glitter on the cheeks of the polar bears and then like maybe one stripe across the sweater. But then the little dotted stamp, the one we filled in all of those open spaces on the sweater with, I am decorating those in the center of the snowflakes with little black Nouveau crystal drops. This is completely optional. Um, it does take a, a little bit more time to do this step. You would not have to, but it adds another layer of interest. It adds another color to that sweater part. So if you want to pull in something else, in this case, the black, I really liked how that um, goes with my color scheme this year. It is a fantastic way to just add a little bit of interest and real, really pretty quick. When the nose is dry, I'm taking a white opaque pen and adding a little highlight to the nose. These are all finishing details that set your tags apart from others. Um, but like I said, keep it simple. Don't add Nouveau Crystal Drops if you don't want to. Don't add the pin detail because you really don't have to have it. It's just one of those little finishing things. And you have amazing, adorable, cute shaped critter tags that I think can be used past the gift giving. Like I said, hang these on a tree. Um, set them up on your mantle. Just so super cute. I'm a huge fan of tags, always have been, and I'm a huge fan of making my own gift tags. So I'm going to go ahead and finish adding these Nuvo Crystal Drops to my polar bear tags, and we're going to move on to the cat. I love the polar bear. Um, definitely was drawn to that one first, but then I thought it would be kind of fun to see how the cat would work. So I'm taking a little bit more narrow design. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hang the ears off the top, cut them off of the top of a piece of, I think it's about one and a quarter or two inches wide by eight and a half inches, scored in half, die cut with the cat die from the Critter Sweaters die collection, and we're going to have some shaped cat tags. We probably all know cat lovers in our life. How cute would it be to tie one of these on to a package for them. I love these. You could do these out of any color. I, of course, was going for keeping this as simple as possible, so everything is on white cardstock again. I am not even changing up the sweater pattern. I'll show you that. There's only a one little tiny minor change. I did use a smaller sentiment inside, also from Critter Sweaters. I'm using Warm Winter Wishes for the cats because it fit better. 
And then I'm place, or using the Just For You from the Tiny Words Christmas stamp set underneath. So just a little minor change to the inside of these tags, but the overall design is the same. We're just using different sentiments that fit better. Now, the front of the cats. The sweaters for the polar bears is, of course, a little bit bigger. So we need to do a little adjustment. And I didn't do it for the first one that I did. Um, and I decided I really like that little stripe along the bottom, which I'm going to fix that. And I'll show you how. Let's go ahead and stamp the faces on our cats first. So cute. Now I'm going to place my cat in here. And I originally just thought I would move it up a little bit, stamp it, call it good. However, that stripe along the bottom, I like that along the bottom. I think it's a nicer finishing touch than the little dashed line, which is what you're going to get with the first one. So I, I left it because it's a tag. No one's going to know but me and I guess you guys know, but I left it for that first one. I'm not going to restamp that, but I did remove that dashed line, moved the little stripey line up, and then stamped this just like I did before. And we're going to fill in the areas with the same border just like we did before. You can use any of the borders you want. This one's just convenient. It works well. It works well with the Nuvo Crystal Drops. So I used it. And that fills in and makes the sweater nice and full. If you want to add even more color, you guys, to these sweaters, consider masking off the top of the critters and using Distress Ink or um, a regular dye ink and either an ink blending tool or a dusting tool, you could add color over the top of this and really get a fantastic multicolored sweater if you wanted to. I did color in the insides of my ears with a light pink Copic marker. I blended out the edges with the colorless blender. I'm going to use pinks for the noses on my cats too. Um, the pink cheeks, again, stamped with that cotton candy ink. I'm putting Nuvo Crystal Drops on the cheeks and on the nose so that it's a little bit sparkly. We're going to take Nuvo Crystal Drops in ebony black and white blizzard and decorate our sweaters again. But you could do this. You could do completely multicolored sweaters. I think rainbow sweaters would be fun. Red and green would be fun. Maybe you have your Misty set up or have two Misty set up like I did, and one of and you just position your borders so that you can stamp like all of the red sweater borders, and then have the the next set offset from that. Move it over to the other side of the Misty or to another Misty and stamp the other one and you get a two-tone effect. It really just depends on how much time you want to spend on the project, how detailed you want to go. So I hope that gives you a few additional ideas of things you can do to customize your tags. Very, very little drops here. They do dry super fast. I would say it's more texture than actual drops, um, but I absolutely love it. So let's take a look at the finished tags. It says, Merry Christmas from all of us. These are the adorable polar bears. Aren't they so, so cute? I just love these. And then these are the cats. And these all read warm winter wishes just for you. I hope this has inspired you to start thinking about your gift tags for your holiday packages and giving you some fun ideas. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for day one of my Handmade Holiday 2018 series. The supplies I use to create my tags are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring gift tags or the critter sweaters, stamps, and dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.